Hey you guys, welcome back to another video. I know I've been gone for a little while, but I'm back and we are doing this super cute short nail set. So I'm excited to crack on with that. I'm gonna be using the new Shorties nail tips that we launched over at Glitter Planet and they are absolutely amazing. I am loving them and so are you guys as well. Let's get into it. I'm always doing the most, finish my cup and reload. Let it swing right back, let it swing right back, back, back. So of course, as always, I'm going to start using the instant nail glue and I'm going to go ahead and apply the nail tips to my practice hand. I've already inserted the flexi tips into the nail bed area so we are good to go and to kind of act like a real client. Um, I will link the shop down below which is glitterplanetuk.com if you are interested in anything and I'll list everything that I'm using as well. So once I've got the tips on, I am going to cut them short using the tip cutters. We do have some new tools restocking and also new tools launching on the 4th of August, which I am so excited about. And we will have the tip cutters in as well, which is going to be amazing because it's been such a long, long time. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to come in and just trim the length down by half and these are such a fab nail tip I just love how they come straight out. They are shorter So if you are doing short sets, you're not kind of wasting lots of plastic um, but, but yeah, and uh, they're just fabulous and a good one to have because obviously you don't want to be applying an extra long tip and then trimming off all of that length so I'm going to be using some of the new smile line cutters. We have quite a few available. I think there's six or even eight. I can't remember, but again, I'll link them <clears throat> down below. They are super affordable and super fabulous. Um, I'm just using pure pink and I'm applying that to the first nail. So when you're working with the tip cutters, you do want to make sure that you apply enough of that product so that you can then remove the excess and create that smile line. So I'm just doing that and I'm making the consistency kind of a medium to wet so that it holds its place and that it doesn't run everywhere. <clears throat> wow, I've just got like a bit of a dry throat for some random reason. I've been absolutely fine all morning, <laughs> but as soon as I voice over, hey. Um, but yeah, I'm adding pure pink, which is one of my absolute favorites. And then I'm coming in with this smile cutter and I'm just pressing it into the acrylic before it fully sets and then dragging it down. And as you can see, it kind of just removes that extra product. I am just using my brush to kind of push it or neaten it, I guess. Um, I didn't need to do that. I just wanted to. When you're doing it on a practice hand, it is a lot harder as to working on a client. Um, but yeah, the more you use it, the better you'll become. But honestly, this, you'll see, the smile line is crisp as heck. Um, I'm coming in next on the middle finger and I'm using Dreamy, which is a beautiful coral blush kind of acrylic. Absolutely love it beautiful for holidays beautiful for autumn if you want more of a brighter color and not so dark just at the minute um because i know we're going to be transitioning over to those dark deep autumns but some people might just want to hold on to one of those lighter colors um so for the next nail after i've done that middle one i'm going to move on to the pointer and we're going to be marbling some acrylic so i'm using the dreamy and the neon yellow and i'm just alternating them on the nail making sure to apply them wet i was focusing on the cuticle area first because it is important to keep that neat and crisp you don't want to flood that cuticle or you know create an unevenness so that is why I focus there first and then I can do the rest of the nail once I've done that. I hope that everyone is doing well and feeling fabulous and if you're not, I hope you do soon. Sometimes we go through phases where we're not doing too well but other times we are absolutely fantastic. But yeah, I have missed you guys so much. I've missed creating content. I feel like it's been forever. Ever. I don't even know how long it's been. Um, I hope you guys have missed me. I really do. But anyway, even if you didn't, I'm back. <laughs> Not getting rid of me that easy. Um, yeah, I've had a nice time off. We've had the grandparents over. 
which we haven't seen in like when we was working out three years because covid kind of delayed all of that obviously um so we've had such a lovely family time and it's just been really fun and nice to kind of have that break and no pressure to create content but i am excited to be back i'm excited to be creating and i'm excited to be sharing again so yeah don't forget to follow me on instagram as well at ninja nail fairy and also subscribe if you didn't already because because it would just be nice if you did that and then you can keep updated with everything that i upload um, so yeah, that's the marble finished and I'm moving on to the pinky nail I'm gonna do a full nail of neon yellow, which I've applied and then I'm just dragging it down to the free edge This is kept thin for this nail because I'm gonna be applying a glitter over the top If you want to build it up with thickness you can but I just find it's pointless The glitter planet nail may acrylic colors are super pigmented that you can work thin Therefore you are using less product therefore the product lasts longer like so i don't see the point in kind of building up full nails with color when you can kind of create that clear base add your color and then cap i just it's just an idea if that if those of you feel like you're getting through some of your powders a lot as long as you've got good quality you can kind of apply that thin and then cap to create that structure I just find it a lot better to do that unless you're doing a color blocking design of course you need to kind of have a little bit of thickness there which is fine um yeah anyway let's get back on track i've applied white ice loose glitter which by the way i am in love with it's freaking gorgeous i'm literally dipping into my crystal clear picking up a small wet bead and then dipping straight into my glitter and then i'm coming and just spreading it around on the nail with my brush and this is the effect that it's created and how different did it look over those two colors i'm excited to try it over other colors as well i think it's going to just look absolutely glorious of course because it is a loose glitter you can apply this over gel polish poly gel acrylic probably dip i mean i've never done dip powders but yeah it's absolutely insanely beautiful mouth watering no words literally gorgeous um but yeah i'll link that down below um with a direct link in case some of you can't find it or you need it right now i'm moving back onto the smile line nail where i did oh i did come in and refine that with the nail file and i'm not sure if i've shown you guys I definitely edited it but i don't feel like i voice overed it unless i was talking and i've missed it but yeah i still do come in with my hand file and refine it after the acrylic has set just in case because sometimes it's not perfect although those cutting tools do help aid a better and crisp more even smile line it's just better to be on the safe side just to run your file across it which i did do um, but yeah, I'm coming in now with my crystal clear acrylic and I'm going to cap all of the nails and create the structure as well to ensure that the nails are long lasting, strong and grow out safely for the client who is fake. But if it was real, you know what I'm saying. Once I've finished encapsulating all of the nails, I do encapsulate that free edge as well on the smile line nail, but I don't build more of an apex because I've kind of already done that with the pink that I applied. Um, but yeah, more in that 
on that in other videos, I guess. I'm coming in after I've filed and buffed everything and I'm going to be using the light rose opals and these yellow, I feel like they're called citrine, but I can't remember, but I just showed you so you guys know. Um, and I'm going to be doing some crystal placement on these nails using some of the beautiful, stunning new delicate flowers that we have, which are just adorable. I'm going to be using the crystal wax picker upper or the bling stick, whatever you want to call it. It's fabulous. Um, and I'm going to use these new little nail arts. They are absolutely stunning. And whether you've got short, long or micro short nails, these will be beautiful because they are so delicate and you've got the larger ones in there, but you've also got the super small ones. So I just absolutely love, love, love them. I think they just look so cute. But yeah, I'm applying those using the instant nail glue and I think they look absolutely glorious and they complement the set really, really nicely. I'm going to add some to this one as well, just in the top corner, but I was just showing you how crisp that smile line came out after filing. Honestly, those tools, the cutting smile tools are fabulous. Okay, so once I'm happy with the placement of the crystals and the little flowers, I'm ready to top coat the entire set and I'm just using the Nailmate Super Gloss. This is our no wipe top coat and it's absolutely gloriously beautiful. Um, I'm gonna apply that to all of the nails and then cure in the light for a full 60 seconds. And I am just in love with how that white ice loose glitter looks over these colours. I think it's just absolutely stunning. And a full set like this would be amazing. Now that I've finished applying the top coat and I've cured, this is the final look. And I think it looks absolutely stunning, super pretty, super elegant, and still lots of fun. All of the products will be listed and linked down below. So if you are interested, then check that out. And you can use code NINJA5 for 5% off the entire website or your entire order. Um, but yeah, I hope you love this set. I thought, oh, I just love it. Honestly, it's just a mix of fun, happy colours and beautiful crystal arrangements and glitter and flowers and everything. It makes my heart smile and my eyes sing with delight. Absolutely love it. Um, but yeah, give this video a thumbs up and thank you so much for watching. As always, remember you are bomb.com, lit as fuck and don't ever let anybody tell you any different because you've got this and I love you. Mwah. Bye.